Uno, dos. One, two, one, two. Hello, Violeta. Good evening. Can hear you. Can hear you. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. What about you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> great to hear. How's it going? What did you do today? Today, I was meeting for my work. I was in a meeting? Yes. At because, work? Yes, because I have preparatoria and we're finished. Oh, really? Level six. Level K6. Six, right? K6, uh huh. Really? Uh, wow. So, the, I don't know how to say clausura. The ending uh, of the year. <laughs> the prom? The prom? Yes, the prom. The prom day will be uh, was is uh, no. We're going. It was going to be this Saturday, uh, fourteen. But the Ministry of Education uh, tell us told we us. have to get told us. We have to stop all the activities. So we have to move uh, the, the schedule. Schedule. The schedule. 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 You got it. One week. A week. One, really? One more week. Another week. Yes. Wow. So. So there's different ways of saying things. Take a look. The prom ceremony will be held on. The prom ceremony will take place on. The prom ceremony. The prom ceremony. Is taking place on November. November 21st. 21st. Excellent. For now. <laughs> Is For the, now. The, the new date. <laughs> That's the tentative day. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're expecting. Ninive, good evening. How's it going? Hi, good evening. Cool. A little tired, but cool. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat, tired. Tired. Okay. No, let, let, <laughs> let me try this. Let me try this with you, okay, Ninive? Tired. Okay. Tired. Mm -mm. Tired. 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 <laughs> Tired. No. Mm. Okay. Tired. Look, look, relax. Tired. Tired. Casi, casi, casi. Vamos, Nive. Tired. Tired. Okay. Tired. Créame que esto me va a servir de mucho. Tired. No, tired. A ver. El chat. Tired. Tired. Ok. Tired. 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 Perfecto. Ahí va, ahí va. Otra vez. Tired. 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 El sonido final, la D. Vamos. Tired. D. Tired. Tired. Ya casi, ya tired. casi. Good. Tired. 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 Sí, porque si solo dice tired, es llanta. Okay. Yes. I feel tired. Sometimes no. Sometimes I don't. Okay. Okay, good, good. So okay. practice, uh, that's a good exercise. When you see someone pronunciating in slow motion, okay. follow their lips, follow oh. <laughs> their lips okay. and try to mimic 
try to mimic. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Hello, Alicia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hope you're doing great. Ah, uh, no, I'm a busy day. <laughs> I'm tired too, but so so. <laughs> It's oh, don't say so-so. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Good. Say more or less instead. More or less. More or less. More or less. Veronica, I can see you. Beatrice. Good. Welcome, Beatrice. How are you? Hi, Pai. A little bit stressful because I finished one of my exam of the university wow congratulations you're done yeah i'm done awesome that's great oh well you said one of them right so you're missing some other exams uh no just one just one that's it okay good job repeat i'm a little bit stressed i'm a little bit stressed i'm a little bit stressed I'm a little bit stressed. Okay, stressed. Stressed. No hay una y antes. Stressed. 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 There you go, stressed. Great job. Okay, so do you think this works? This is called the syllabiado technique. It's a technique that most English teachers should know. How can you tell if an English teacher knows the syllabiado technique? Well, he will always point at his mouth or get closer to you so you can only read his lips. You see? <laughs> so you will follow its lips. It's very important, okay? Okay, so let's start. Um, we have Elvis, Jarvin, Daniela, good evening, Wendy. Hey, Jonathan. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, guys. Okay, so tonight we're going to um, do a little review. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a little review of something that we finished last week. Antes que nada, pausa. Ay, solo estamos 10 ahorita. Eh, Todos hicieron la plataforma. Algún... Terminaron, sí, el midterm. Yes. Okay. Es Beatriz. Sí. Good. No teacher. Why? Mm. Why? Today I finish all. You finished? I you finish will finish? All. Yes. Or you finished? I will finish. You will finish today. Okay, good. Well, do it. It's very important um, for you to finish the platform exercises. So we continue with the platform. Uh, we're going to start today with section four and section four is yes. starts with a short video i'm not gonna play it this is something that you're supposed to do out of the class uh it's called around the campfire i just want to point out i just want to point out one little thing um it is the instructions Always take a look at the instructions, read them, understand them. See what it says here? Watch the video yes. and write a summary of the story on the discussion forum. Then tell a spooky story that you may know of. Okay, so we already have an answer. Uh, Melanie, Violetta, great job. When we go out and camping at night, some people like to tell spooky stories around of a bonfire. Okay, uh, I already texted you. Sorry if I don't do this very often. I actually, I actually expect, I expect, expect um, your other classmates to read this and correct, you know, write something else. When we go out camping, so I don't need the uh, conjunction, when we go out camping at night, some people like to tell spooky stories around a bonfire. Okay. Got it? You don't need the, uh, 
Got it. Connector. You don't need the conjunction there as well. Okay, so watch the video later. Make sure you watch the video later. And something that I always recommend you, let me see if we can do this with this video. Can you turn on the captions? Closed captions? Hey guys, well, captions. you're not going to believe no. this. I just heard a story oh, about uh -huh. this campground. What do you mean? Yeah. What about it? Okay, no closed I captions. I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower. She said I had taken a shower. So my point is, listen, get new vocabulary. Okay, it's 4.42 and you're supposed to do what? And you're supposed to do what with this video? Can um, somebody tell? The new vocabulary. And then? And then we have to, uh, we have to, to add a discuss, a question for discussing or? <laughs> ah, summary, summary. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I, I didn't. A summary of the story, okay? Okay. A brief story, a brief uh, summary of the story. What do you think about it? Something that I will always suggest you is to give your own opinion about anything. Just give your own opinion. So the story is about a few girls camping. Um, outdoors right and they light up a fire in the middle of the woods in my opinion lighting up fires is a little bit um dangerous and so on and then you start giving your own opinion about a, a topic good so today's topic we have a very interesting topic um past progressive and simple past so let's watch the video and then we discuss about it, okay? Today, we're going to have an, a very, very participative class. So get ready to speak, okay? Pay attention. I will make questions to each one of you. Veronica, Beatriz, Alicia, Elvis, Nini, Ve, Violeta, Margarita. Oh, my God, Madeline, Jarvin, Daniela, <laughs> Wendy, and Vadi. Okay. So let's pay attention. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn the difference between the past continuous and the simple past. Additionally, you'll learn how to express your ideas using both tenses. So. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to learn is that we'll use both tenses together in order to express complex sentences. So let me give you a quick example. If you want to explain that you were doing an activity such as eating dinner and you were interrupted, uh, let's say by uh, a friend or someone called you, in order to express this idea, you must use the two tenses together. So for example, I was eating dinner last night when my girlfriend called me. So let's look at the definition. We use the past progressive with the simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. So if we look at this example here, they were enjoying the morning. This is the action that was in progress. And there was an interruption. That interruption was that when the thief stole the briefcase. So now let's look at some other examples. So we got about two or three examples here. And um, again, we are trying to express that whole idea that there was a continuous action happening in the past and there was an interruption that occurred. So the example here is, while he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. So if we look at the timetable here at the bottom, we can see that the past event was, or the past continuous event was that he was escaping from the bank. All of a sudden, this action was interrupted by this blue event, which is the robber got caught in the revolving door. Um, and the was quite similar. As Jake was running towards the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. The last one is uh, similar. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Um, just a quick reminder here, 
um, also something that we should uh, keep in mind is that usually, not all the time, while and as will follow a past continuous statement. So as you can see, while he was escaping from the bank, as Jake was running. So typically, these words will follow a past progressive uh, statement, if you will. So what we're going to try to do next is we're going to look at a small paragraph and we're going to try to make sense of it. I will do this one together with you guys and you'll do the next one. So what we want to do here is, number one, we want to identify if the statement will be in the past progressive form or it will be a simple past form. In order to do that, we must follow this um, concept that I mentioned that we will use the past continuous for an action that was in progress and the simple past for an action that interrupted that particular action. So the two events are related to one another. Um, sometimes the events may be separate from each other and that's when uh, that's the kind of thing that you need to understand. So let's look at the first one. What you're going to do is you're going to use these verbs in parentheses that you see here and you will either turn those into a past progressive form or a simple past form. So while diverge, as I mentioned previously, uh, typically we will use, whenever you see this word, it will typically follow a past progressive form. But let's make sure that it makes sense. While, so while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they, and here we should use this verb, okay, but then we have to change that into a past progressive form. So let's see. So while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. So yes, it looks like this first event is related to the second sentence. Therefore, this is the action that was in progress, and this next sentence is the interruption of this event. So let's kind of like make it work. So while divers were working, That'll be our first answer there. Off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. Okay, so that makes sense for the first one there. Now let's look at the next one. The divers. Uh, and also the next sentence also appears that there was an action that was in progress and then there was an interruption. Okay, so this one, uh, we're going to use the verbs in parentheses. So, so the divers, and we're going to say where, we're going to take that verb and we need to change that into a progressive form. We're filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. And we also need to change that verb into a past form. So there we go. OK, so what I would like for you to do is to identify whether the sentences are related to one another. And if so, identify what was the action that was in progress and what other action interrupted that first action. Okay, let's make sense to this whole morning. Um, what tenses are we studying, comparing? Past progressive and past progressive and past. past. Simple, simple past. Simple. And simple, simple past. past. Simple past. Okay, I want you all to do this with your hand or just do it with the Zoom app. So you can you raise your hand if you understood? <laughs> okay, good, good. Yeah, only two. Come on. Okay, good. Oh, don't be don't be shy. Okay, thank you. So let's see, um, Ninive, can you explain me a little bit? What is the? Let Let's go with the easy one. What's the past progressive? Is um. Something that you did in the past, but don't stop. You continue. It was a continue. The action. Action. It was continue a continue. Action in the past. 
Okay. Yes, the <laughs> That's it. Simple. Very good. Do we all agree? Yes, do we agree? We agree? Okay, good. Thank you. I like those little fingers. Okay. What is the simple past? Mm, Veronica, what is the simple past? Yeah. Simple past is when the action finish in the past. That's it, right? An example. Uh, <laughs> I finished my homework. I finished. My, really good. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I finished. Remember, I finished my homework. Good. Um, Madeline, can you give us an example in past progressive? Mm -hmm. I was working all day. Perfect, beautiful, that's mm -hmm. it. Okay, so if you got that um, in general terms, a simple past action can interrupt an action um, in past progressive. I mean, that's what caused the action to stop and that's the way it works in real life. So let's go straight with an exercise. Before we do the exercise that was proposed by Jose, let's take a look at this. Okay, I just want to see you all here. Okay, so again, the structure, you should be aware of it, is subject plus the verb to be in past, right? Okay. And then what? Last verb. Present participle of the verb. Wait. Oui. Okay. The present participle of the verb, or what you know as ing. Okay. This is like the general rule of the grammar for the present progress, I mean, the past progressive. Right? And then we need, of course, a complement. So, um, she? Somebody? Was. Was? Okay. Was what? Eating. I knew you were going to say eating. <laughs> <laughs> she was eating pancakes. Okay. She was eating pancakes. 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 Okay, that's with, uh, present with milk, continuous. With milk. <laughs> with milk, okay. She was eating <laughs> pancakes with milk. Uh-huh. And here when. is when, okay. Near, 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 near. Near from, what? Near from here, near from my house. Uh, ah, when, when, when someone Knock here, her door. Knock, knock, something like that. Someone knocked. When someone. Someone knocked, knocked the door, door. Knocked at the door. Knocked the door. When someone knocked the door. Knocked when someone the... rang the bell. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. She was eating pancakes with milk when someone knocked the door. And even, and she Someone shocked. The door. Someone ring the and bell. She shocked. And she shocked. <laughs> she shocked like, <coughs> right. She was <laughs> hitting. Okay. That's, that's reality. Okay. Something like that could happen. Okay. Now the negative form is the same thing. Just don't forget. You need to add the negative where. Exactly. Thank you. You do an N apostrophe T, right? Yeah. Wasn't, weren't. Wasn't, weren't. Okay. Sure. Yes. There is a, a song. Uh, someone's knocking at the door. Somebody is ringing the bell. Someone's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing the bell. Someone's knocking at the door. Somebody is drinking. Who sings? Uh, that's uh, Paul McCartney, right? Paul McCartney, yeah. The group of wins. The group of wins. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me the next example. Negative. 
they weren't they weren't um they weren't drinking drinking coffee mm -hmm. um, they weren't drinking coffee because because they um, no because not yeah. When 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 they their friends visited, you were about to say something very interesting. When they they, they, they weren't friends, drinking coffee. When their friends visited, they when, weren't drinking coffee. When, they, when their friends visited, their 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 friends, Madeline, their visited friends them, visited them. Visited them. Okay, they were not drinking coffee when their friends visited them. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Now that, that's an interrupted action, right? Um, now two actions can be happening at the same time. Just don't forget it. When their friends visited them. That's a good example. Okay. Now, can somebody try to make a question? Someone else? Let's see, Daniela. Um, I don't know how to how to start. Follow the pattern. Follow the same pattern. Um, was she? Okay. Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. You're totally right. We need the pattern. <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> yeah, so we have to be in past. Okay. Which is was or where. Um, then we need a subject, then the same present participle of the verb. Los I or ing. Okay, and the complement. And don't forget the question mark. So now in this case. We want to make it bigger, right? And say the full question. Try it, Daniela, try it. I think you got the idea. Mm, was she uh -huh. mm, running when mm, when Her boy, <laughs> call her. Perfect. Okay. Was she running when her boyfriend called her? Okay. Uh, a crime scene, a crime scene investigation, right? A crime scene investigation. Was she running <laughs> when her boyfriend called her? Okay. Good. Crime scene investigation. So, do you see yes, an, an action yes, in the yes. past? An action in the past. Um, was in progress and another action interrupted that same situation. Okay, now let's make an open question so we can do a dynamic, okay? I'm gonna make a question. What were you doing when I called you? Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 I touched a key that I wasn't supposed to touch. When I when I call you, okay. What were you doing when I call you? So we're gonna follow that pattern. You're going to pretend that you have your cell phone with you, okay? And do this. Ring. Okay. Okay. You can go like ese teléfono parece carpintero. Porque se ring, porque se ring. Okay, good. So you call your your classmate and you ask, hey, what were you doing when I called you? Now, here's the deal. Here's the Here? deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Aquí está, la, aquí está la onda, aquí está el truco, el trato, okay? Here's the deal. Do not repeat actions, okay? You cannot repeat the action. So 
Let's see who's on the top. Okay, I have Madeline on the top, so we're gonna start with Madeline. Yes. Pretend that you are doing something and I interrupted that action, okay? So I go like ring. 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 Someone? Hello. Hello. Ring. Hello. Hi, Madeline. Hi. What were you doing when I called you? I, I was uh, speaking with my students um, and they, they um, are um, preparing the tests. Uh, tests, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Bye bye. Bye bye. Now you call um, Ninive. Call Ninive. Um, Ninive, hello, Rin. Rin. Hi, Madeline. Oh, uh, what were you doing when I called you? I was driving uh, from my job, <laughs> from my office. Oh, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Okay. No, no problem, Mali. <laughs> Bye. Go with Veronica, Nive. Okay. Hi, Veronica. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what were you doing when I called you, Veronica? Oh, I was cooking for the dinner. Oops, I'm sorry, Veronica. I called you later. Okay. I called you never or I called you later? <laughs> later, later. I called you later. Come on. Veronica, call Daniela. Called you later. Okay. Uh, hi, Daniela. What were you doing when I called you? Hello. I was walking with my dog with my dogs. Repeat, uh, Daniela, walking. Walking. Walking, walking with my dog. Walking. I was walking with my dogs. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I called you later. Okay. okay. Daniela, call Wendy Amaya. Hey, Wendy. What are you, what were you doing when I called you? Hi, Daniela. I was playing with my nephew. Playing, playing. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank so you. Sweet. I okay. called you later, later. That's great. Excellent. Wendy, repeat, playing. Look, playing. Playing. Mm -mm. La, la griega no es una G, G. No, es una I. Otra playing. I. Playing. Playing. Excellent. Plain. Okay. Very good. Thank Wendy, you. you need to call Violeta. <gasps> Violeta! What were you doing when I call you? <laughs> Oops, I was taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking a shower. <laughs> oh my God. True. That happens. Okay. Daniela, what do you have to say? I, me. Se desmayó. Yeah, what did you have to say, Daniela? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and then, and then you go like, right, Violeta? You go like, was this important? Did you need me? <laughs> no, now talking. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking, tell me. But I don't, I don't call Violeta. <laughs> You didn't call, who didn't call? No, no Daniela. It was Wendy. No. Wendy, I'm Wendy. sorry. I confused you guys. You look the same. Se miran iguales y nunca les he visto la cara. Violeta, Violeta, okay, Violeta, you need to contact uh, Margarita Duran. You need to call Margarita. Ring. 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 Oh. Hi, Margarita. What were you doing when I called you? I was this, well, I washing the dishes. I was washing the dishes. Washing the dishes. Oh my God, okay. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm going to call you later. I'm con No, I'm going to call you back. Perfect. Later. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Margarita, you need to contact Beatriz Alegria. Ring, ring, ring. 
Hi, Margarita. Uh, Beatriz, what were you doing when I told you? I was studying for my exam. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Great job. Okay, Beatriz. Don't you worry. Need to, <laughs> you need to contact Alicia. Green. Hello. Hi, Alicia. What Hi. were you doing when I called you? Oh, I was reading a book. No problem. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry. What is it about? <laughs> Excellent. Ah. Which book? Which book? <laughs> Which book? Excellent. Harry Very good. Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> one to seven. Okay, I mean, good. which one? <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. good. <laughs> okay, Alicia, call Elvis. Okay. okay. Yes. Ring. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Oh, that's great. What were you doing when I called you? I was serving my dinner, my dinner. Oh, sorry. I will, I will call you later. Thank you. Okay, no nobody call. said anything before. Excellent. Okay. Good job, Elvis. Okay, call Jarvin. Jarvin. Sorry? Yep, call Jarvin. <clears throat> Uh, ring, ring, I called you. What were you doing when I called you, Jervin? I was taking a nap. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> it's good for you. Yes, doing of course. Nothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. I called you. Call back. Okay, okay thank you, Mom. Thank you. Bye. Okay, thank you. Jarvin, um, did Daniela spoke already? Yeah, I think she speak already, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. We need <laughs> Vadi. We're only missing Vadi and Stanley. Jarvin. Okay. Stanley, hello. Hi. What were you doing when I called you? I was lulling my baby. Oh, really? I'm sorry, man. I called you late. No problem. You were doing what? I'm sorry, Stanley, I didn't get that. L-U-L-L-I-N-G. Lulling, like lullaby, okay. Like singing to sleep, okay. Swinging the baby, I got it. Thank you. We're only missing Badi. Ring. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> it must be ring. a claro. It must be claro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ring. He's sleeping, maybe. He was sleeping. Hello. He's in mute. <laughs> Hi, hello, hello. Hi. What were you doing when I called you? you know, I her. was watching the news. What? Oh, sorry. Mm. I okay. called you later. Wait, okay. somebody said, no, nobody said watching before. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Badi, return the question to me. Dream, dream. Hello. Dream. Hi, teacher. Oh what were God. you doing when I called you? <laughs> I cannot tell you. <laughs> I was praying. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Good job. You got it, right? This is simple. This is very, very simple. Okay. Um, so here are the verbs you used. Okay. You have talking, driving, cooking, walking, walking, playing, taking a shower, washing the dishes. Studying, studying, reading, listen, Teacher, what is... reading, mm -hmm. sorry, eating, okay. Okay. give me one second, taking, taking a nap, nap lulling, lulling, watching TV. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is, what is lulling? Lulling, if I understood Stanley, is like when you, when you take your baby, you know, and you start sleeping. Lulling. 
I, I, ah, okay. That sounds to I me like lullaby. Yeah. Like lullaby. lullaby. There, there are songs okay. about it. Lullaby songs. Lullaby songs. That's a good verb, okay, actually. I, I think time. it's when you sing a lullaby. Mm -hmm. A lullaby, huh? That's the action of singing and oh, singing putting a baby. Putting a baby, putting a baby to sleep. That's right. I okay. missed I missed okay. those Thank days. You. I miss those days. Three babies already. <laughs> We're so beautiful. It's the same as nursery. Nursing or nursing? Right, no, no, nursing. no. Nursing, nursing, right? Nursing. nursing, yeah. Nursing. Uh, nursing. What about tampering? Tampering. <laughs> yeah, baby verse. Baby I verse. A nap, teacher. I don't know. Taking a nap is when you sleep during the day for a few minutes. Ah, yes. Okay. Nursing. Nursing is when you when you assist someone because this person cannot do some actions. That's that sounds like nursing. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What about pampering? Pampering. Pamper. <laughs> it's like uh, take care for of someone. No. Okay, Daniela, do you like to be pampered? I don't know what is pampered. Mm -hmm. Listen, okay, let me put it into another context, Daniela. Does your boyfriend, your boyfriend. pamper you? <laughs> huh? Where's my little baby? What is Come it? on. No, Here's a that's a scene. I love you. <laughs> pamper you. Ah, it's like, like uh, a... Like, um, uh huh, mm. mimar. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. I saw other, other scene. Ah, come on, <laughs> Madeline. No, that's a scene. <laughs> that's a scene. No, I didn't know. Pamper, <laughs> close. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it, it, that's the, the word pamper, right? That there it comes from that word actually to pamper you. Let that's me pamper you. <laughs> you can tell someone, let me pamper you. Let me invite you I a coffee. I thought the same. <laughs> I thought the same. <laughs> let me pamper you. Is is like a papacho in, in yeah. Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. You need to be pampered. Oh. You need to be pampered, pampered. all the time. Oh. Pampered. <laughs> pampered. Okay. <laughs> Good. New words, a lot of words. Let's go with the exercise on the platform really quick. Do you like that? That's really funny, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that, the pampering part, but the, the dynamic. <laughs> okay, so we have a, a little exercise here. Try to do it on your, on your notebook. Um, can you read it? Can you see it? Walking. One windy day, a woman walking her bed way down the street. I heard the story. There's hmm. tiles singing the door. So the window and noticing it's crying for you. No? <gasps> ah! Mm, sorry. It's very easy. Let me know whenever you're ready.
You got it, Madeline. Great. Okay. I'm. You're done. Okay. I read it. May I read it? No, no, no. Wait, no. wait. The rest is writing. Writing only. Yep. I see them writing. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs up if you're ready, okay? Madeline, thumbs up already? Okay. Anybody I, else? I thumbs up? I finished. Wait, thumbs up, thumbs up? You know that word, right? Yeah. Thumbs up, okay, good. So everybody else is done. Madeline, please read up to street. Okay, one up. windy day, a woman was walking. Excellent, okay. Her pulled it down the street. Okay, so the first part will be was walking. Was walking. Thank you. Violeta, can you help us with the second part? <coughs> A hair stylish was seen the dog through the through a window hmm. and noticed. Mm -hmm. It's crazy hair. Okay, wait. Noticed? N not noticed. Noticed. Uh -huh. Noticed. N noticed. Mm -hmm. Noticed? It's crazy noticed. hair. Noticed. It's mm -hmm. crazy hair. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's go with Veronica. Later. Sorry, why the st is stylist uh, created a new line of the hair? hair Later, hair while the stylist created, like that? Created. Mm -hmm. Yes, created. A new line of the hair care product for dog and the cats. For dogs and cats. Okay, uh, let's finish with Alicia. He... He was coming up with a new slogan. Even animals have bad hair days. Okay. Let's see. Does anybody have a different idea, a different way? No? Okay. One windy day. Joe? A woman was the who? Uh, he came up with a new slogan. That is correct. Okay, he came up with a new slogan. He came up with a new slogan. That's right. Uh, okay, let's see. One windy day, a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street. Her stylist was seen. Mm, I will say yeah. so. That's so. right. Very good. So. Okay. So here you need it. So. So. Yep. A past action that interrupted the previous action. Mm. The dog through a window and noticed that is correct. Okay, and noticed is not a new not sentence. Okay. No, is uh, the is a continue. Is, is a continuation. A is the continuation mm. of the story? Yes, it's the okay. continuation of the story. One windy day, a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street. A hairstylist. All the actions aren't fast. 
all the not actions all of them. aren't not all of them listen ah, okay. uh then a hairstylist saw the dog through a window and noticed so why both verbs in past because of this guy simple, right here simple past this guy right here is connecting two ideas and when you connect two ideas they need to go on the same time right on the same tense so he the stylist created Mm -hmm. See, at the beginning, I'm sorry. I'm we're sorry. going to use uh, the, the so, continue. Right, but listen, we have two actions in the past. A hairstylist saw the dog through a window and noticed it's crazy hair. Both actions, notice and see, are in past. So, notice it's crazy hair. Later, while the stylist Mm -hmm. was creating was creating was, was creating, creating. Was creating. Was creating. he was in that moment right inspired and he was creating a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats mm -hmm. <clears throat> was creating a, a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats he came up he came up with, a new, with a new slogan even animals have bad hair days even animals mm -hmm. have bad hair days good job okay always makes sense to things it's so really good. at the beginning of the story and after the war while we're going to use the past continue it's up to you that's one more point let me explain you one last thing about this topic, which is very interesting. But first, I'm going so to. You're gonna... Always will be that. Always? Always, always will be that. That rule will and always. And later and, and after a while. After a while, we will need past continuous, most past likely, continuous yes. And at the beginning. But again, okay. li listen to yourself. I want to explain you something else in this topic that was at the beginning and I was expecting Jose to explain it. You can start a sentence with the past continuous or with the past. In police reports, you will notice that. The robber got caught in the revolving door while he was escaping from the bank. The yeah. opposite. Okay, next he tripped and kicked and kicked it into the wrong goal. Mm, no, that wouldn't make sense, right? As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. Quiero enfatizar eso. No puedo cambiar esas dos oraciones porque entonces estaría diciendo que alguien más se tropezó. Y golpeó eso en la portería equivocada. Mientras que Jake estaba corriendo hacia la pelota. O sea, ya no sería Jake el que llevaba a cabo la acción, sino que alguien más. Listen, he tripped. If I just tell you, he tripped, he tripped and kicked. Hold on. He tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal as Jake was running toward the ball. No tiene, tiene, no tiene sentido, right? Okay. Mm. Okay, and the last one. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. I can, I can do that. I can exchange the sentences and say, when a protester threw an egg at her, the secretary was making a speech. Make sense? Yeah. No? <laughs> Just turn the actions. And it's the same thing. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. I can say the opposite, Violeta. When a protester threw an egg at her, the secretary was making a speech. But that action 
it didn't happen after she was making the speech? No, because I'm still using when. I could use while as well. It will make, it won't lose the meaning. Now, what changes is the narrative. The narrative changes. In one case, someone is reporting what happened. Okay, and actually in both cases, somebody's reporting what happened. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. My advice is practice. Okay, practice, make sentences, go crazy about this topic. It's a, it's a very good and interesting and very useful topic. So try to apply it, put it into context, okay? Similar. Do you have any questions? No, I don't have any. Any question? Sure. Was was very interesting and um, easy. Easy, right? Okay. Good. I don't know how. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, I was waiting to do something else with you. Uh, okay. Where is it? Every time you go away. To a piece of me with you. Let's see. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Okay, go. I was, I was stretching his back. His, his back when when, she, when, when he, he stand up is is step stand no. <laughs> past no. past past stood up. yes stood stood, 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 up. stood up and and he went tough and gone left and gone and left tough. and left and left. And okay. he went off. No, it's a, it's a run. And he went off. He salió para afuera. <laughs> I don't like that verb, but yeah. And he oh. went off. He salió. Uh-huh. Madeline, he... I, I will be saying, he salió. Yeah. Salió. Estoy diciendo, y se fue. It's the same. Mm -mm. No. Salir e irse. It's the same. No, no so other word. Two different. different. Yeah, it's two different things. And, and one off is a fire. Hello. A scratching. Scratching. It's a new verb for me. Yeah, when scratch my back. Okay. Okay, study. Do this. Do this. This is very important. You need to put things in your language to put it into context. Okay. Present continuous, past simple. Okay. Okay. The teacher, the teacher was saying goodbye to the students when he, the teacher was saying goodbye to the students when he remembered to tell them about the homework. No se les olvide, por favor. Si no han terminado la plataforma, háganlo. Si no, si hay terminado la plataforma, igual. Hay cosas que hacer. Ese video hay que escribir una pequeña um, ¿qué reseña de lo que habla el video. Y revisarse en nuevas tareas en esta unidad 4, sección 4, ¿ok? We only okay. have this week, next week, and we're over. Okay. Oh, my God. Wow. We finished. I, I, I like your class. I need more class. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, guys. Take care. Good night. Okay, bye. 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 bye.